how to create all kinds of dot designs like this in Affinity Photo using 2.3's Move and Duplicate. Open any image and then go over here. Now I'm going to use a dot, but you could use any of these other shapes. You could use other designs as well. But I'm going to go with the ellipse tool and I'm going to set it to black. So with the fill of set to black, I can now go to filters and blur and Gaussian blur. Just create a nice blurring effect. Click apply. With that, I can now turn it into a pattern. Go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. I'm going to remove the other layer. So just select that and delete it. Now go back to this pattern and then right click and go down here to mask to below. And you can see now you've got this lovely mask effect. And you can still see the face. That's the key thing. Don't want to completely wipe it out. Well, what you can also do, you can select the entire design there, that layer. And you can go down the bottom and there's a little effect. Just click that. Now there's a whole range of options, but I'm just going to go for bevel emboss. So click that and then increase the radius. And you can see what happens there. You get this lovely new emboss effect. Also, you can modify the emboss. Maybe go with outer and so on. But I'm going to go with the pillow and click profile. And you can select any of these profiles. You might or may, you might not like those. However, you can always remove them. You can also change the direction. So you can see, you can change that to create different designs as well. Once you're happy with that, click close. Now with this layer selected, again, you can go over here, move tool, and then press return or enter on the keyboard. You need 2.3 for this. A panel will appear, move and duplicate. Well, you can go here now, got rotation. You can set it to say 0.4. 0.5 just have a slight rotation but you can also go to duplicate and with that make certain that's turned on and then number of copies are active so you can then see as you do that you get this twisting effect so you can create a variety of different designs with that lovely twist but also you've got options here maybe make it two something like that to make it even more abstract or maybe make it 0 0.3 or 4 just subtle changes create different designs. You can also go here and rotation and scale. So this is 2.3. You've got 2.2, you've got the rotation. 2.3 has got the scale. And you can set it to say 99. So you get like zooming in effect, maybe make it 98. And it really does sort of like require just subtle changes. If you push it too far, it will go so you can reduce it down very rapidly and you get effect like that. So at 95, you can see it's been reduced quite dramatically. I'm just going to go, say, with 98. So 98, and of course you can vary the number of copies. You might only want four or five. You don't have to go for 32, you might go for 10, say. But also, once you've done that, you can then click OK. And you've got all these layers. Well, with all these layers, you can select them all, or individual ones. You don't have to select them all. You can select all of them as well. So select all of those. And with that, you can click effects again. So click effects, and then go down here to bevel and boss, or use any of the others as well. And then you can change this setting. And as you change it, you can see a change in the design. Also, change direction, and you can change that, and you can see that will change as well. Also, you've got profile, so you can just click here, and maybe go with something like that. Or that effect, or that design, and so on. And of course, you can always tweak the profile and create all kinds of other effects. But again, at any point, you can always remove profile just to go with the standard result. Maybe go emboss, and you can see that, or maybe go with 3D, so click that, and set radius on, and so on. And click close. And you can see you can modify it multiple times to create multiple effects. But of course, you can also simply just select any of these, and you can then reposition them so you don't have to keep it in the same position. So you might like go like that, move it across slightly to create a slight jumble of that design. Maybe select another one, move that. Maybe select that one and so on. You can create a variety of different changes of design just so, simply by moving the layer. Also, again, you can always go to effects and change individual ones as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Always adding new tutorials all the time. Bye.